Hi everybody, John here and welcome to another of my tutorial videos. And I'm very excited to them today because I'm finally going to be installing Toon Boom Harmony 12 onto my computer. All of my previous tutorials have been done in Harmony 11. But I've now got a copy of 12 and today I'm going to be installing it onto my computer. So here we go, so here is the little icon, so I'll double click on this. Obviously I'd highly recommend that you read all the terms and conditions. Just to save time I'll press the agree button and let it open up and do its thing. Okay, so Harmony has now popped open on the window here and it says drag this folder into my applications folder. So I'll just do it on there. And now what's going to happen? Let's just go to my applications. Where's it going to be? What's it doing? Is it doing anything? Come on, Harmony. Let's try again. Let's drag it into my address file down here. See if that works. Ah, there we go. Now it's doing something. 800 megabytes. Okay, so well, while that's waiting, I'll just explain what I'm going to do from um, now on in my future videos. Um, so I've now, now finished my Minion series. And now that I've got Harmony 12, I've decided to do a new series similar to the Minion um, situation where I'm going to create a whole new animation from scratch. And, so, and then the series is going to be called Toon Boom Harmony Basics. So the series will be for anybody who's new to Toon Boom Harmony. Um, basically, it will be for, obviously for experienced animators who are moving from Flash or, say, Cell Action or something like that to Toon Boom Harmony for the first time, or people who are brand new to animation that have just got a copy of Harmony and want to learn it. Um, so I'm hoping to kind of cover all the absolute basics um, of how the software works and, and, the, and the best way to use it, um, going from literally how to set up the software initially, right through to creating the characters and rigging them, doing the backgrounds, working in the sort of 3D space, setting up your scenes, and obviously animating and exporting everything, uh, either for YouTube or wherever you're putting it out. So I'll be covering that over a whole massive series, and it'll be called Toon Boom Harmony Basics, which I'll start very soon. Um, so Harmony is now, I think, loaded. So let's have a look at my applications folder. Oh, there we go. So obviously stage. Let's click on stage and see what happens. I like the logo, the new logo here. Down here's the old logo. That's the Toon, Mini, Toon Boom Harmony 11. This is Toon Boom Harmony 12. So the, so the logo looks very cool, bouncing nicely. It's verifying the stage. Oh, yes, that was good. I'm very excited. I love Toon Boom. <laughs> if you haven't guessed already, of course. Um, I own Harmony. I want to install it on this computer. So, yes, I want to do that. Sign in with your Toon Boom ID. Right, OK, then. Come on, Harmony. We can do it. It's doing something. We've got the Wheel of Death. Yay! There we go. So you get a year's license. So I've got a year up until the 30th of October 2016. So let's click start. And now we should be in. Get into that. Who says installing software is easy? God, it's taken ages. Come on, Harmony, come on, Harmony, let's get on with some animation. I do work by myself most of the time, so um, talking to myself is quite a common occurrence, unfortunately. Thank you for using Toon Boom Harmony Stage. To help us improve our software, you have the option to share anonymous information about how you use your software. Yes, I will offer you my anonymous help. Okay, so let's just do a... I'll have a look at it. Let's have a look. 24 frames, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, create a scene. Let's do it. Now, apparently, I should be able to open all of my Toon Boom Harmony 11 files in Harmony 12, which I will do um, not on this video because I don't want to ruin anything just in case. But I will look at that definitely after this video because if I can open up my Minion stuff and my previous projects in Harmony 12 without having to convert them, that would be very helpful. Okay, so we are in to Harmony 12. It doesn't look a huge amount different from Harmony 11. So that's a good thing. 
Um, the one thing you've mentioned is the deformers are different, which I, looks like that is the case. There's a lot less buttons for the deformers. I've not actually seen Harmony 12 live as such, so this is my, literally my first time looking at it. So the deformer button, there's the setup button is missing, um, but everything else looks pretty similar, so that is looking good. So Harmony 12 is now properly installed on the computer, and I'm looking forward to getting stuck into my new series. If you haven't got a copy of Harmony and you'd like to give it a try, you can get a free trial. So please click on the link in the, in the description below. Uh, go to the website and get a free trial. And then maybe as I do my new series, you can work along with me and see what you think. And obviously, if you get to the end of your trial and you like it, you can obviously buy a subscription. Uh, obviously, all the pricing details are on the Toon Boom website. Um, so there we go. So thanks for watching. I'm ready now to start the new series, and I'll be back very soon with the first video. All right, bye for now.